what what is that one aspect that stands out about South African uh, culture or their lifestyles or their people that you might want to acknowledge here today? They are warm. They are warm people. They are always happy and they are always ready for a party. In high school, I was taught that, um, let's say for example, if South Africa has a flu, Namibia will catch a cold. Yeah, which means that Namibia is somewhat dependent on South Africa. Um, <coughs> South Africa, I know them, it's uh, I think one of the superpowers in terms of uh, Africa. They are doing very well. Uh, governance wise, they are very well too. Uh, the other thing is also they are doing very well in terms of sports and also in terms of um, accommodating uh, other African countries and also internationals as well, yeah. Do you know which, which country colonized South Africa, by the way? The Afri no, no, I don't know. I think, I don't know, Germans, I don't know. Have you interacted with South African here in Namibia? Yes, I have. Oh. How was the experience? It was quite good because, like, um, I sat on the street mark here, so basically you have a lot of boys that come from South Africa, a lot of South Africans. I have a couple of friends that are from South Africa that actually stay here and some actually work in Chicago. Greetings world, greetings everybody. This is King of Speech on your screen once again and today I'm finding myself on uh, one of the busiest streets in uh, Vintuk City, in town basically here in Vintuk City and today I'm featuring a prominent African country. Today ladies and gentlemen I'm featuring the country of South Africa. South Africa is widely known as the rainbow nation because of uh, their cultural diversity and South Africa is also popular because of the late anti-apartheid hero Nelson Mandela who was widely acclaimed for, he was globally acclaimed for his uh, uh, humility. Ladies and gentlemen, South Africa has a population of around 59 million people and South Africa has a culture of barbecues uh, which they locally call Sisanyama and this is something that unites uh, their, its people. South some of South Africa's most popular cities are Cape Town, Johannesburg, Deben and Pretoria and uh, South Africa has world-class entertainers uh, and some of their recent um, Influencers are individuals such as uh, comedian Trevor Noah, Boning Mateba, who is known as uh, Queen Bee, uh, DJ Black Coffee, as well as uh, political firebrand uh, Julius Malema. I would also like to acknowledge uh, the late reggae platinum selling artist Lucky Dube, whose music is widely still uh, enjoyed around the globe. Well, that is my profile of South Africa to you, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned to find out the views of uh, our fellow Namibians. I'm doing marvelous. Uh, what's your name? Jules. I want your lovely names. What's your name? I'm um, Shishi Vangwa. Shishi Vangwa, that's a beautiful name. Thank you. Benji. Who am I speaking to? Um, Mr. Tobias. Ne? What's your name? Kaylee. I'm doing marvelous. What's your name? My name is Julia Kinyacheng Kot Amale. All right, Miss Jules, I'm going to flash uh, out a lovely flag and then you tell me what country the flag belongs to. Okay. Mm, yeah. Flag, come on, flag, come on. Do you know which country flag this is, yes, Jules? South Africa. South Africa. Now, Miss Jules, when you hear of the country South Africa, what comes to your mind? What do you know about South Africa that you can share with our viewers? Phew, Durban. Okay, keep it going. KwaZulu Natal the most beautiful place in the world uh -huh. it's paradise all right um where the, and then in cape town where the indian ocean and the atlantic ocean meet the orange river dragonsbergs serious mountains it's a beautiful place impressive man ladies i'm um, just gonna flesh out an african uh, flag uh, of a particular country and then you tell me if you know the the flag all right so the country is african yes do you guys know which african country's flag this is let me guess <laughs> south africa <laughs> and south africa yeah you, are, you guys are right now so when you guys when you hear of the country south africa what comes to your mind what do you know about south africa that you would like to share with the viewers it is um, it is a developed country, that's what I know. And it is what can I say? Well, like in 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 high school I was taught that um, let's say for example, if South Africa has a flu, Namibia will catch a cold. Yeah? Which means that Namibia is somewhat dependent on South Africa when it comes to, you know. Yeah, that's all I know. You might, yeah? What do you uh, know about South Africa? 
Oh, sorry. South Africa. Okay, when I think of South Africa, I just think of, like, you know, I'm a piano. Them good things. I like their culture. It's so diverse. It's called the Rainbow Nation for a reason, you know. All right, Mr. Tobias, uh, I'm just going to stimulate your mind, you know, give you a little bit of excitement. I'm going to flesh out a, a, an African country flag, and then you tell us, uh, you tell the viewers if you know the flag or not. Okay, you know, you're welcome. All right. Uh, <coughs> Mr. Tobias, do you know which country flag this is? Yeah, this is the Republic of uh, South Africa, yeah. All right, impressive. Yeah, yeah, yes. Now, Mr. Tobias, when you hear of uh, the country South Africa, what comes to your mind? What do you know about South Africa that you can share with uh, the viewers? Um, <coughs> South Africa, I know them, it's, uh, I think, one of the superpowers in terms of uh, Africa. They are doing very well. Uh, Governance-wise, they are very well, too. Uh, the other thing is also they are doing very well in terms of sports. <laughs> And also in terms of um, accommodating uh, other African countries and also internationals as well, yeah. Impressive, Mr. Tobias. Do you know which currency South Africa is using? Yes, it's the South African rand, and the Namibian currency is also packed to the South African currency, yeah. Um, what nationality are you? I'm Namibian. I was born in Namibia. That's that's beautiful. Now, Kaylee, I'm gonna stimulate your general knowledge a little. I'm just gonna flesh out a particular country flag, and then I ask if you know about it. All right? Okay. Yes. So, Kaylee, <laughs> do you know which country's flag this is? Uh, South Africa, I hope. Yes. It's okay. <laughs> now, Kaylee, what do you know about South Africa that you can share with the audience, with the viewers? Anything about South Africa at all? Something interesting or what you know about South Africa? Well, my family is from South Africa. I have family there. I know the what Table Mountain is there. Sun yeah. City. Sun City. Yeah, I've been to South, um, Sun City before. Okay. Yeah, it's quite beautiful there. Right. It's quite dangerous in uh -huh. South Africa. So <laughs> be safe when you go there, yeah. yeah. All right, Julia, uh, what nationality are you? I'm Kenyan, by the way. I'm from Kenyan. Kisumu. How long have you been in Namibia? Um, a couple of years. A couple of years. Yeah. That's interesting. Julia, um, oh, almost a decade. A year, decade. All right. Uh, I'm going to flesh out a particular African flag, and then um, I'm yeah. going to ask you if you know the flag, and then we take it from there. Okay, why not? All right, cool. Oh. Um, oh. Do you actually know what country this flag is, Julia? Yeah, South Africa. South Africa, eh? Yeah. Just look at, the camera, look at the camera. Mm -hmm. Now, Julia, when you hear of the country South Africa, what comes to your mind? What do you know about South Africa that you would like to share with our viewers? Unfortunately, actually, my mom's South African, and she was born there in the 1956. I assume. <laughs> okay. And um, I've been there. I know Table Mountain, the World Cup. Oh, hot love and the drink, by the way. <laughs> um, I know a lot about the history from my mom's side because she's a hot Netswana. She's a Netswana. She's a. I swear in Homo, English. You get what I'm saying now? Yeah, so, yeah. Do you know any influencer, either a musician uh, in politics, business, or media or fashion, uh, who is South African? Um, Jessica Nkosi. Jessica Nkosi. Okay. Uh, She's an actress in um, The Queen. Right. She was an actress in Isibaya as well. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, any, anyone else? Um, hmm. Sean Bartlett, a former soccer player for Bafana Bafana. Um, um, Alton Hart, he is a litigator in South Africa. Uh, there is a um, Jonathan um, Daniels, also a litigator in South Africa. Um, what else? Who else? All right. Um, do you do you know of any famous musician from South Africa? Any popular musician, maybe that you'd like to acknowledge here? Benjamin Dube, a gospel artist. Very good work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about influencers, either in uh, uh, sports, uh, <coughs> uh, politics, business, or media, music. Um, anyone famous? Uh, any influencer that you guys know of that you would like to acknowledge here? Um, I am a rugby fan, so I have to go with Sia Kolisi. He, you know. He actually put um, the Africa as a continent on the map when they won their you know, the World Cup. Their World Cup. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a bit nervous. But yeah, so he is a very big influencer that I know of <laughs> and that I look up to. Okay. So yeah. yeah. 
yourself? Uh, I have a lot, starting with Julius Malema. <laughs> he has an answer for everything. I like uh, Michlali, Zilla Weezy. I love yo, South Africa. I love South Africans, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, <coughs> who else can I think of? Uh, Mr. Tobias, do you know of any famous uh, person from South Africa, an influencer either in music, <coughs> business or politics, as we are speaking uh, recently? Uh, would you like to find out someone that passed on or that is still alive? Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Whether they have passed on or still alive, they are still South African. Okay, yeah. The current person that I know that is very influential is uh, the current president, which is uh, Cyril Ramaphosa. Uh, he is a businessman uh, and an entrepreneur in his own nature and he became a president so since he became a president people should not be mistaken that no he only got famous or he's only now wealth because wealthy because of uh, became a president yeah he's been in the game he's been doing businesses and he's also a lawyer and economist by in his own uh, professional wide yeah so he studied also and he's also an inter he's doing business so that's why even when he was at the day he was appointed as a president the economy and the market started doing very well yeah yeah yes yeah now kayla kaylee kaylee sorry uh kaylee do you know of any south african influence either in politics business music fashion anything at all sports um well i know nadia jafta she's a tiktoker youtuber influencer that's all i can think of right now all right um n you don't know any popular south african musician maybe uh, not that I can think of, no, but I think I've listened to quite a few bit of music, but I can't think of any right now. All right. Do you know of any uh, influencer from South Africa, either a musician, uh, somebody in politics, business or sports or media fashion? Okay, hey, what's up? <laughs> That's all I know. I mean, I don't really follow the South African news apart from TBN and SABC stuff like that. Yeah, but then that I don't. Uh, let's talk about their cities, some of their prominent cities. Can you maybe acknowledge one or two? I know of Cape Town and me and Durban and what else? Lesotho, I know it. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, Lesotho is a country. I don't know why it came up. Just sounds South African. But yeah. But Cape Town, yeah. I think I'd, some, it's a place I'd like to visit. I've heard good things. But then South Africa is also known for its very high crime rate so it's not number one on my travel log <laughs> but yeah yourself you know of any other cities besides uh, the cape town you just spoke about um, Deben? <coughs> is johannesburg a city yeah. oh yeah it's the most commercial city <coughs> that one? um do you know who is south africa's president Cyril ramaphosa Cyril ramaphosa can you mention at least two or three south african cities um, city of Cape Town, Johannesburg, and um, Bloemfontein. Oh, impressive. Have you been to South Africa before? Yes, quite a couple of times. How would you sum up the experiences? Always amazing. Very warm and welcome. The people? The people are amazing, especially the ones that I go and visit down there. Anyone maybe famous that you know of uh, in sports or music besides uh in, in sports? Mm -hmm. uh, in sports, um, I in, okay. In sports, I like um, uh, Lucas Radebe. He's a role model because of uh, he played in England. He played for Leeds United. He's always been calm and even he's very disciplined. Uh, he's a as a good uh, role model. He's into into business. He, I know that he has shares in Discovery Health and some other businesses that he has. Uh, there was even a case whereby he sent one one week's wage to his mom and then she almost collapsed here. Yeah. Then that time I think he was earning around forty five thousand pounds per week. Yeah. Right. So imagine the life and all those things that he has done in food in in, in sport in in music. I'm a big fan of uh, I'm a piano. And Heavy K is one of my favorite as well. So he's always trending, and even he released the, the latest currently for this month. Yeah, yeah. Really impressive knowledge, Mr. Tobias. What what do you know about uh, something that is typical of uh, South African culture or that defines uh, South African people? I think the food they eat. Like I don't know, maybe like Cook Sisters and like um, yeah, I don't know, like what's it, what do you call that triangle stuff? Um, 
What do you call it? I don't know, but yeah, right. quite a few food. Uh, South Africans are uh, actually um, they love barbecues. They love braise, yeah, pap and flace. You know, yeah. they call it sisa nyama. No, I don't know that word, but yeah. Right. Do you know who South Africa's president is? Uh, Cyril Ramaphosa. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yes. Something, something typical of the South African uh, people, like something that uh, influences their culture, you know, something uh, typical of the South African well, culture? Well, the Zulu are very strong. I like the creative culture and, you know, how they dance, the food, you know, they're very united. Uh-huh. Yeah. We just don't like the xenophobia. Feel me? Uh, when you are speaking about xenophobia, can you elaborate? What is basically, what is xenophobia basically, Ooh, Julia? You know, this is you... kwara kwara, the racist and stuff. Like, you know, things that are just happening, man. Is it? Yeah, it's almost like terrorists. Like from where I come from, we have that a lot, where the Muslims are fighting with the Christians. That's why most of us ran to Eastern, Southern African countries, like to have peace, just to live a normal life. Because I'm a Christian, but Muslims right now are attacking us in Kenya, like the Al-Shabaab and stuff like that. So, yeah. what, what is that one aspect that stands out about South African uh, culture or their lifestyles or their people that you might want to acknowledge here today? They are warm. They are warm people. They are always happy and they are always ready for a party. <laughs> <laughs> always ready for a party. Uh, I would like to ask you one more question. Do you know which country colonized South Africa? Um, England, yes, it was the British, especially in Eastern Cape. As well as the Dutch. Yes, as well as the Dutch, yes, in the Cape, yes. Interesting, ladies. Uh, you spoke about South Africa's culture. What, what, what is it about their culture that you would like to highlight, perhaps, uh, uh, something that you can, something uh, um, particular, in particular about South African culture that you would like to share with our viewers? Hmm. No, I can't think of anything right now. But I know South Africans believe in, uh, what do you call it? When they marry a lot of wives, poly something. That's interesting. Yes, that's interesting. Polygamy. <sighs> Alright, um, ladies, yeah, you'd like to add yeah, to the culture norm of SA? Well, I actually have a friend that's from SA. And I like that they are so rooted in their beliefs. Like I think this friend of mine, he still had to go for, you know when boys are transitioning into men in a specific um, ethnic group or whatnot, they still do things of that sort in South Africa and that's really interesting to me. So yeah. Wow, lovely, lovely views. Um, I have another question for you ladies. Um, in terms of their music, uh, do you guys know of any popular musicians from South Africa? <laughs> we'll start with a lady on my right. Ha, huh, <laughs> South African artist, yikes. Lucky Dube. <laughs> yeah. Who else? Um, Kelly Kumalo, Brenda Fassi. Is Brenda Fassi South African? Yeah, oh, yeah, Brenda Fassi. She was. Yeah. Is, yeah. Uh, uh, the other ones are like a piano artist. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut your uh, your response short, uh, unfortunately, because I don't want you to finish up all the musicians. <laughs> so your friend doesn't have much yeah. to say, huh? She's she's gonna wrap it up. I'm like really old school, so I'm I'm a huge fan of Soul Brothers. Oh wow. Yeah, and um, I'm a piano artist. You know, Musa Keys. You know, there's also the Casper New Vest, aka, and you know, yeah, South Africa is you're full of talent. That's all I can say, but yeah. Can you mention uh, three or four South African cities that you know, even two? <coughs> cities of South Africa. Yes. Okay, uh, the capital city is Pretoria, and then the commercial city is uh, Johannesburg, and then we also have uh, um, just Port Elizabeth here. So uh, South Africa is like a second country to me. I've been visiting and I'm also follow a lot of, I watch their channels, I watch their news. I follow a lot instead of South Africa, yeah. All right. Yes, Impressive. Sir. Mr. Tobias, what, oh yeah, what, what is your nationality, by the way? I'm a full Namibian, yeah. All right. Yes. Impressive. Have you, have you been to South Africa, by the way? Yeah, quite a few times. I was there last year to visit my family. Have you visited the townships? Yes, my, my uncle lives in townships. And uh, how are the people? Um, how, how are the interactions with the people? Actually, really friendly. You would be, think it's really, it is really dangerous, but um, the people are quite friendly if you live there. Like, it's a really close community. Yeah. Do you know which country, <laughs> which country uh, colonized South Africa? I think the British. I assume it's the British, right? Yes, it's the British. Yeah. It's the British. Have you, have you interacted with South African here in Namibia? Yes, 
I have. It is a couple. How was the experience? It was quite good because, like, um, I sell on the street market here, so basically you have a lot of boys that come from South Africa, a lot of South Africans. I have a couple of friends that are from South Africa that actually stay here, and some actually work in Chicago. So, yeah. Sorry? Are they are they nice people? Oh, yeah, they, they are nice. But some are nice people, and some are really rude. But then I do have friendly friends that um, well, into like you interact with them very well. Yeah, they're friendly actually. Pe they're kind of peaceful. Yeah, they yeah. are. Thank you very much, Julia. Thank you very much. You you're quite bubbly. What do you think uh, South Africa and Namibia have in common? Our infrastructure is quite the same, especially here in the city centre. Um, our infrastructure and infrastructure in Cape Town is quite similar. Um, the Northern Capers and the Namibian Southerners have the same, literally the same culture, the Khoi people. And if South Africa sneezes, Namibia catches the gold. That's really true. That's, that's not true. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am. Uh, do you know of at least one or two tribes that you'd like to acknowledge here? Two South African tribes. Um, the Isi Zulu and we talk go with the classic Tabura, Tabura that side. I hope that's a tribe because it's <laughs> <laughs> what's going on. It's all I can think of. Yeah, yeah, but that's that's all I can think of right now. So yeah. For you? Um, the Paddies and the Zulus. My Paddies. I'm Paddies. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds Paddy. <laughs> I'm sorry, viewers. Yeah, thank you very much, ladies. Can you maybe do a group punch? Like, uh, yeah, right now. I mean, let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. <laughs> cool, yeah. What What is that one typical thing about South African culture or there are people that you would like to acknowledge and share with the viewers? Okay, uh, about South Africa, in terms of their culture, um, they are good people. If they are happy, they are very straightforward also. If they are, they are very radical, that should be one thing we should say. Even if you look at in terms of uh, politics and in sports, you see one thing in common in terms of South Africans, and that it comes from the root of culture. Uh, when they are happy, they sing, they dance. If it's a marriage, they sing and they dance. When they are demonstrating, they sing and they dance. So the message, you get it. Either way, whether they are happy or unhappy. Yeah. Yes. Uh, do you know of maybe any two or one uh, popular tribe in South Africa? Uh, we have the Zulus and the Kozas, ne? Yeah. Yeah, we have the Zulus and the Kozas, and the majority that are very radical are the Zulus, ne? And then we also have the that's now KwaZulu Natal province here. Yeah? They are dominant there, and that is where the looting was also taking place. Uh, you see, you see, and they are, they are very fond of their former president, ne? Uh, Zuma. So he's a Zulu also. And that's why they are like that. If you look at Nelson Mandela, he's a causer, yeah. Uh, yeah, so those are very, you see the two differences here. Yeah. Zulus are very powerful and dominant. Even if you look at like uh, where the looting was taking place, it only took place in KwaZulu Natal. And that tells you that they are very powerful and uh, straightforward people, yeah. They don't hide anything. Which South African tribes can you acknowledge today? Can you share with the, the audience that you can remember? I really, um, I really don't know, like maybe like Zulu people, um, I don't know, Afrikaners, um, Khaled, yeah, I think that's good, I don't know, that's all, all right. I can think of. Um, so what's your, what's your, what's your, what's your heritage basically? Are you Afrikaner? Yeah, I'm Afrikaner, English, Afrikaans, yes. Do you know which, which country colonized South Africa, by the way? Africa. No, no, I don't know. I think I don't know Germans. I don't know. Yeah, it's actually a combination of the Dutch and uh, the British. Oh, no, I don't know that. Uh, do you love wine? Yeah, not really. Maybe white wine. Oh, yeah. yeah, but South Africa is definitely one of the highly rated uh, uh, wine producing countries in the world. I think they are rated number two or three. Yeah, with all the wine, yeah. wine, wine farms and stuff. Yeah. Don't you love rugby? I mean... No, I don't watch rugby at all. Is it? No. Uh -huh. All right. Thank you very much, Kaylee. Thank this you. has been awesome. Thank you. Mr. Tobias, do you think uh, there is any similarities between Namibia and South Africa? And if there is any, would you <coughs> maybe elaborate? Uh, similarities, not really, because South Africa, in terms of population, they are growing their population from 50 million to... They are chasing 70 million. Namibia, we are very small. We are even at least maybe a certain portion of the capital city, ne? or a suburb, we should say, which is Soweto. Um, if you look at uh, the provinces they have, 
the magnitude of South Africa, the, if you look at their budgets, even if you look at in terms of the economy, uh, most of the South African mother companies are based home in South Africa and Namibian branches need to report back to get some final decisions and so on. Whereas our market is still very small. Even if you want to sell, if for example, even if you look at maybe in the telecommunications industry, uh, we are having only MTC that is very dominant, then we have Telecom, but in South Africa we are talking about we have Vodacom, we have Celsi, we have MTN, and MTN is all over Africa. You understand? So even if you look at in terms of even for example, if we look at a good example about DSTV, when they have to make a decision in terms of opening up a certain portion to Namibian market, our market is very small. They have a big market in Nigeria. And that's where we are thinking about. They would rather give a certain pro broadcasting rights to the Nigerian market because they are 140 million. In terms of having 1 million people, which is a fraction of what they are having. So that's why South Africa is big in terms of economy, in terms of business and so on. Yeah. We are still learning from them. That's why even if you look at everything that happens, most of the decisions that are taken in South Africa, we are about to follow. When it comes to fuel, it's the similar. We are uh, currency, we are packed to them. Uh, businesses and companies, uh, majority of the companies are based in South Africa, they are opening up here. Companies that we see here, even if you look at the markets, like the game uh, shops that we see, that is mass smart in South Africa. So everything what we have here is a, a big portion of a pie in South Africa. Yeah. Thank you so much, Mr. Tobias. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I know you're welcome. Yeah, sure. Welcome, sir.